Hi, my name is Taylor Porine and I'm an MXG Signal Generator Product Manager here at Keysight Technologies. And today we're going to talk about the MXG's Embedded Reflectometer. First, what is the Embedded Reflectometer? It is essentially a tool that we embedded into the MXG to help you measure the reflection or the mismatch error from your device under test. And it characterizes the match of the DUT so it can remove those error terms and give you a more accurate measurement. The embedded reflectometer also allows you to characterize your fixture, or in this case, our test cable, so we can extend our reference plane closer to the input of our device under test or DUT. In this demo, we already extended our reference plane using an electronic calibration module, or ECAL for short. And right now, I'm having my reference plane at the input of my low noise amplifier. When would you want to use the embedded reflectometer? If you're working with frequency response sensitive measurements or even characterizing a power amplifier like the one that we have here, that is when you would want to use this because it gives you that more accurate measurement and it's very fast, simple, and convenient. With my reference plane now at the input of my DUT and my S1P file loaded into the signal generator, I want to see how characterizing the match of my DUT and implementing that S1P file improves my unequalized EVM. And by using this with unequalized EVM, it means that the equalization method that I'm employing does not need to be as stringent as it would later on. So let's look at what our EVM is right now. It's about minus 29 dB. And what happens when I turn the embedded reflectometer on? How much improvement am I going to get? You can see that I'm getting about 7 dB of improvement on my EVM measurement, which is really good, especially with unequalized EVM. Now that I have my embedded reflectometer on, and as I mentioned, this is really great to use if you're working with frequency response sensitive measurements. Let's look at what happens when I turn the equalizer on, so that way I can look at my magnitude and phase response measurements. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my equalizer on the signal analyzer. And because the equalizer is equalizing the measurement, you'll see that my EVM is improving. This is what my phase response looks like, and this is what my magnitude response looks like when I have the dot match characterization employed. When I turn it off, we can see that I'm not compensating for the mismatch errors meaning that I'm reintroducing the reflected and re-reflected waves or signals into my measurement. And it creates this large ripple effect and a less flat frequency response. So what we saw here today with the embedded reflexometer was that we characterize our fixture and move the reference plane closer to the input of my DUT so I could understand more about my DUT's performance and not the performance of my signal generator. We also saw what happens when I characterize the match of my DUT and remove those mismatch error terms and how it improved my unequalized EVM by 7 dB. And this was all very fast, simple, and convenient.